An emotional day for a Brighton family as a teen is sentenced for shooting and killing his father, who was a Canton police officer. Hayden Yost will spend decades in prison. Today's family pushed the court for a leaner sentence, saying the teen shows remorse for what he did. Rod Maloney is in Howell tonight gathering reaction to the judge's decision. Rod. Yeah, Kimberly, this is a situation where the state Supreme Court ruled that judges cannot give life in prison without parole to teenagers unless it is an extraordinary, outstanding case. And here in Livingston County, prosecutors thought they had exactly that. Canton Police School Resource Officer, 48-year-old Ed Yaxt, lived in Howell with his wife, son, and daughter. This was the scene the day after Father's Day 2021. Ed's 18-year-old son, whom we will not name here, fired a bullet into Ed's head while he slept. Later, police discovered he really wanted to be famous for shooting up a school and had a child porn addiction and also had been through considerable counseling. He pled guilty to murdering his father. What would the court say to them when this man kills again? Livingston County Assistant Prosecutor Roland Sizemore asked Judge Michael Hattie for the maximum sentence. I want the court to sentence this defendant with life without the possibility of parole in the Michigan Department of Corrections for the protection of our children. Widow and mother Sarah Yagst tearfully disagreed. The prosecution can make my son out to be evil. They can recommend life without parole, but they don't know my son. They didn't witness his struggles. He is so much more than his worst moment. He is a human be being worthy of a second chance and a life outside prison one day. Judge Hattie felt the prosecution did not make its case and instead gave the young man 40 to 60 years behind bars. Canton Police Captain Joseph Biley felt that the judge got it right. Yeah, I'm not disappointed by that at all. This is a tough situation for the Canton Police Department and for the family, obviously, losing our officer and losing a, a member of the community. Um, the judge's decision was probably fair in this case. Uh, after the ruling, the uh, prosecutor, assistant prosecutor, uh, Sizemore, said to me that he was disappointed uh, in the way this went because he felt uh, truly that this was a case that was extraordinary. But in the meantime, the young man is going to get 40 to 60 years behind bars. He should be uh, eligible for parole roughly around his 60th birthday. Back to you. Rod, what reason did the judge give for his ruling? Well, the judge was citing much of the case law and a lot of the research that has gone in around this. And what he said basically was that the young uh, man was young and immature at the time and was unable to fully appreciate the consequences mm -hmm. of his actions. Mm -hmm. All right, Rod, thanks.